Hey guys, it is time for another rain balloon bracelet. This time I am teaching you how to do the dragon scale cuff. So I have one that was made on four pins, six pins, and this guy was made on ten pins. I will show you how to do them all. The main tutorial is on the six pin one, but from the tutorial you'll know how to do it on any number of pins. So without further ado, let's loom it up. As I already mentioned, there's a 10 pin, a 6 pin, and a 4 pin dragon scale cuff bracelet. I'm going to show you how to make the 6 pin cuff bracelet first. So I'm taking 3 black rubber bands. I'm going to take my first one and just kind of twist it into a figure 8 or infinity sign. So then I'm going to move over, put the second black rubber band twisted onto the 3rd and 4th pin. And I'm doing the same thing with my third black rubber band, twisting it and putting it on the fifth and sixth pin. Then I'm taking two blue rubber bands. For the first one, I'm going to put that on pin number two and three. So it's kind of in the middle of the first two black rubber bands. And I am putting another blue rubber band, another pin over, so it's on pins number four and five. And that is twisted on top of those black ones, as you can see from the video footage. Now I'm taking my hook and I'm going to grab the part of the black rubber band that's on the second pin. So it should be underneath the blue one, but I'm going to pull it with the hook so I have it on top of the blue one. So I'm pulling it off of the hook and putting it on top of the blue one. Now this one came untwisted, so I'm just going to take it and fix it so it has a twist. I just added another twist to it basically and put it back on the peg. Do the same with the black band that's on the third peg. Just take it and lift it over. And you're going to do that again with the black on the fourth peg. And move on to the fifth peg and do the same with that one. As you can see, this one stayed twisted. That's what you want it to do. Now I'm pushing down all of the bands. I'm going to grab three more black bands. And we're actually going to put them on top of where we put the other black bands at the beginning. So this first band is going to just go on the first and second peg. No more twisting, just put them on normally. Then put the next one on the third and fourth peg and then the fifth and sixth peg. Starting from the left, you're going to grab every single bottom band and pull it over the top. So I started with the first peg, pulled the black band over, then I moved on to the second peg, pulled the blue over, Again, pulled another blue on the third peg, another blue on the fourth peg, another blue on the fifth peg, and then finally the black band on the sixth peg. I just pulled those all over, pushed the entire thing down, and now we're going to add two blue bands. So I'm putting those on normally on the second and third peg, and then one on the fourth and fifth peg. And I'm just taking the black and pulling that over, black pull that over on the fourth peg, pull that over, and then on the fifth peg, pull that over. Push everything down, and now we're moving on to black. So you're just repeating that step over and over until you get to the end. So now we're putting on three blacks, and it's again in the same spot as the black normally is, and you're going to pull all those over the blue. And I'm going to fast forward this footage because you've already seen me do all the steps that are necessary to make this bracelet. So for any of you who are worried about trying to keep up, don't. Just pause until the bracelet is the right length for you. You can see that my bracelet's gaining a little bit of length here. I'm going to keep going and just repeat the same steps as I've said. Once it's long enough, you're going to put the C-clips on. So you're going to have to take the rubber bands and put them on three pegs as opposed to six. So I'm taking the black rubber band on the right there and moving it over to the fifth peg. I'm taking the black rubber band on the first peg and I'm moving it over to the second peg on top of that blue band. And then I'm just going to pick randomly one of the middle blue bands and move it over to the other middle blue band peg. So you should have three different loops where you're going to put three different C-clips. You can use your hook to pull your bands out and make it easier to attach your C-clips to the end. So I put on the first one and now I'm putting on the second one. And finally the third one. You just want to make sure that everything's attached and nothing's going to fall apart. 
Now take your piece off of the loom and you're going to attach those three C-clips to the other side of the bracelet, of course. You can do this really however you want. You can attach it to just one band or two bands. Um, you can see how mine looks. As you can see, these C-clips are attached differently on my first bracelet than on the bracelet I just made. It just is all personal preference. See, you could pull that white one up if you want. There you have a six pin dragon scale cuff bracelet. Now moving on to the easier one, just to give you an idea of how to make a four pin, I'm just going to use two of the first color and then one of the second color and you put them um, in a figure eight or infinity sh shape when you put them on the pegs. So I put a yellow on the first two pegs and a yellow on the second two, then I twisted an orange and put that on the middle two pegs and you're just going to take the yellow, put it over, and again mine came undone. Um, so I just had to fix it and then I'm taking the other yellow and putting that over. I'm making this rainbow so instead of yellow I'm putting two reds on top and they're just placed on normally, no twists, and then I'm going to go to every bottom band and pull those over the red, like so. And as you could probably guess, the next color will be just one, and I'm putting purple, and then I'm just pulling the two bottom red bands over that purple. And you're just going to repeat this step the same way you did with the six pin bracelet. It's exactly the same, but just not using as many pegs. So here's some sped up footage of me working on this bracelet a tiny bit, but we're going to move on to the 10 peg bracelet. So the 10 peg bracelet is the widest, of course and you're going to need five of the first color of band. So you can see here that I twisted five purple bands and I put those on the pegs just like I would have with the six pin but I just added some more pins in. And then I'm taking four of my next color which is lime green and I'm twisting those and putting those on top of the purple ones. Finally I twisted the band the right way. Then I'm taking my bottom bands and putting them over the top bands. You know the drill. It's very, very easy and just the same exact thing as we've been doing. And then I'm going to take five purple bands again, put them on normally on the pegs right above where the other purple ones were. And I'm going to take the bottom band from every single peg and pull those over the top bands to make the dragon scale cuff stitch. And that is all. If you end up making your own dragon scale cuff bracelet, then use hashtag SoCraftastic on Instagram to show me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the dragon scale cuff bracelet. I'm just moving my hands like I'm lifting weights, but not really. So if you have not checked out my other rainbow loom bracelet tutorials, then please do so. I have one on the fishtail and the inverted fishtail, and then a couple videos from a while back on a an infinity bracelet, I always do that. And then just the single rainbow loom bracelet without a loom, because I was making these before the loom. Also stay tuned for such bracelets as the ladder and the infamous starburst that a lot of you have been requesting. So I am getting those up for you ASAP. Remember that every Wednesday in December of 2013 is Loomness Day. So there's going to be a rainbow loom tutorial every single Wednesday up until the new year. So I hope you guys are excited for that. If you have any bracelet requests, then leave them below. I will see you guys very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. What is all that noise?